Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Mr. Coder. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do problem B, Rudolph in 121, from Code Forces round 933, Division 3. So basically, Rudolph has an array A of N integers, and you you can do any any number of operations. And in one operation, you set A of I minus 1, to be one less than it currently is, a of i to be two less than it is, and a of i plus one to be one less than it is. And in the i, if we do it on one index, it has to be greater than or equal to two and less than or equal to n minus one. Otherwise, the i minus one or i plus one won't work. And then is it possible to make all the elements of the array zero using this operation? So basically, for the first example, one, three, five, five, two, you would be able to, you'd be able to do it. You'd be able to solve it because, so first you just try, you just try, so first get rid of this one. So this would be zero, and then it would be one, and then you can make this four using one operation. And then you can use another operation. You can make this zero. You can make this two and you can make this four. And then you can do this operation twice. Since this is two, you can do this operation twice and this becomes zero, this becomes zero, and this also becomes zero. So then all the, all the numbers are zero. So then you print out yes. So, and if we take a look at the next example, two, four, four, five, one. So I mean, there isn't any way to do it because if you if you get rid of this two first by this zero, two, or this would be also zero, and then this would be and then this would be a two. And then if you do this two, five, one. So if you do this, then it'll be zero, but then this will be a, this will be a one, and this will be negative one, and these clearly aren't zero, so that's why you have to print out no. And so that's basically, so that's basically the problem, and the solution is relatively simple. You just basically take the input, and my approach to this problem was to. Instead, instead of focusing on like this a of i, I focused on looping through this a i a of i minus one. Because, because you can't if you if you're going from left to right, then you you can't subtract anymore. So you have to like greedy through it. So then I basically got the current, and then I checked if it was less than zero, because if it was less than zero already then it's impossible because you can't add any using any operations. So that's why I just printed out no and return. Otherwise, I just set the current one to zero. And then the next one, uh, I set to two times x. I subtracted two times x, which is x with the original vector i. Then i plus two, I just subtracted x. Because you basically can use an unlimited number of operations and you don't need to count them. So that's basically what I did. And then I looped through the array again. And then if if there are any, any elements that weren't zero, then it clearly didn't work. So then it would just be no. And then otherwise it would just be yes. So that's basically how it works. And then if I try pasting this in, Yes, no, yes, no, 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 no. And that checks up with this. So that's basically how you do this problem. It's basically a very greedy type problem. And a couple observations help. And yeah, that's basically how you do this problem. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.